Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Now we are looking at the final beer uh, from Browery Hue or Brasserie Hue uh, and the Floris range, uh, which is a Belgian fruit beer. Uh, like I say, the final one. This one is the Apple. There we go. So as you can see, the label is pretty much the same as all the other ones, except that they just have the apple and the colour slightly different. Uh, it's coming in at 3.6%, 330ml bottle, part of a gift pack, which was 30 quid, six bottles and a glass. Uh, there we go. There's the crown. So far, I'd say half the beers have been really good. A couple have been sort of average. Hopefully, I'm fully expecting this one to be decent. Uh, so let's get it cracked open. Obviously going in the florist glass. Let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Basil's uh, at home alone. His wife went away with the kids and the grandkids on Wednesday, Thursday morning, thir very early Thursday morning. Uh, so he's enjoying a little bit of time to himself. Uh, he's also enjoying the Olympics as well. Watching a bit of the old Olympics. God, I do like watching a bit of that. Uh, some beer in a glass. Looks like apple juice, if you like, almost apple-y. It's got a few floaty bits in there. There's a few floaty bits. It's probably been sat, sat for a while, so no doubt some lumps there. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> no point even looking at the bottle, is it? I've told you everything there is to know. So beer in a glass, slightly hazy. Uh, with some floaty bits in there, sort of apple-y kind of looking, just a dusting on top, which is pretty much what we've had with all the other ones as well. So let's dive in with the nose. Are we going to get apple? You want to hope so, didn't you? Yeah, and that's what you get. In Very much a green apple smell, but there's also There's a sweetness in there. It's almost got a little bit of an apple pie sort of aroma in there, the, the, the sugariness, if you like. But sort of sharp green apples, I'm gonna say. Yeah, it smells good. Let's dive in, Floris Apple, 3.6%. Cheers, everyone. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is probably, probably the best one. Because it has more depth to it. Nice body on the beer. Wow, that is crisp. That is proper crisp. Nice body on the beer at 3.6%. Again, like the, the raspberry one, the frambois <laughs> that I've just done. Uh, lovely body on it. Lovely bit of weight to it. The carbonation suits this beer, these flavours. It's in there. It's small bubbles. It's not rough. That is beautiful, proper sort of crisp apple twang to it. Lovely, refreshing. You feel like you're crunching it when you're drinking it. It's got, you just think of biting into an apple and that sort of flavor you get from the apple is in this. That is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. A little bit of tartness. Also a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of malt in the background. It almost, like I said, it feels a little bit like an apple pie. There's, there's almost that little sweetness. There's almost that, that maltness, that pastry feel in there that makes it feel quite full. You could even say, it feels like there's a tickle of cinnamon or something in there. Maybe it's just the flavor of this beer that is falling my head into it, but I mean, it f it's fantastic. 
It's fantastic. That is an absolutely beautiful drop. Again, like all of them, 3.6%. They're sort of light summer's day drinks. They're, they're thirst quenchers. And this one's absolutely beautiful. I've got to say any sort of lambics or fruit beers or anything sort of like along them lines. I do like the apple. They're always really good. It really suits the beer as well. A gentle little tartness in there as well, you could say. But that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so yeah, the time has come that we're at the end of the old... Uh, Floris Belgium fruit beer range. Uh, this one was the last one. Have I enjoyed them? Yeah, overall, I've enjoyed them. I think I think the only the ones that I haven't been so keen on, I think it's just down to personal taste in in the fruit that is in it. Uh, but otherwise, they've been fantastic and really nice. Uh, a, a nice little change as well. So uh, if you like your fruit beers, give these a go. Uh, I certainly think there's certain flavours are better than others, uh, but that is lovely. So uh, yeah, if you see it, give it a go. Like I said, if you like your fruit beers, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.